Despite Series 18 of Halo Heroes not being officially released by Mega Constructs just yet, they have somehow made their way out of the factories and onto sites like eBay. And yes, these are the official figures. I haven't seen any knockoffs going around, but I assume it could be happening, but that isn't the case for the ones I've got here. And it's kind of an odd situation because a lot of other people seem to be getting Series 18 as well. It's not just some rare occurrence that's only happened to a few people. There's still listings for it over on eBay as well, so it doesn't even seem like it's that difficult to obtain. Anyways, I've gotten my hands on them, so let's go ahead and take a look at each figure. In this wave, we get a total of five figures, and it has to be one of the best selections we've ever had in a series of Halo heroes. We've got stuff from every corner of the Halo universe, stuff from 343, stuff from Bungie, and stuff from Halo Wars as well. Not to mention some highly anticipated figures in the mix. From left to right, we've got Lieutenant Colonel Kinsano, Atriox, a Spartan Mark VII from Halo Infinite with the Christmas Winter Contingency Armor Coating, a Sangheili Armor Guard, and what's perhaps most exciting figure here is the Flood Human Combat Form. First off, we've got Lieutenant Colonel Kinsano, which, at least in my opinion, is the least interesting figure in this lineup. It's just a character that I don't really have any attachment to. I'm pretty sure she's from the Flood DLC from Halo Wars 2 and I have barely played any of the Halo Wars games, so I just kind of have no idea what's going on with that. Pretty much all I know about is Red Team and the main cast of characters from the campaigns. Side characters like this, just I'm not that familiar with. Despite that though, this is still a pretty interesting looking figure. Mega has actually released this character once before in her own set with a Cyclops mech. With this figure here, all we get is a flamethrower and a flood infection form, which believe it or not, these are actually some of my first Mega Constructs flood figures, so it's kind of exciting for me. Just like all the others, the figure comes with a stand displaying their name and the UNSC logo behind it. The figure looks to be wearing some form of UNSC combat armor. I don't know if this character is a Marine or not, although she obviously has some involvement in the UNSC military. There's these pretty cool looking red and blue markings on the chest plate of the armor, and you've also got some gray straps in there just to kind of mix up the colors so it isn't just green. Those markings continue on to the shoulder shoulder pads and underneath it just looks like she's wearing a gray undersuit with some extra lighter gray pieces mixed in there. She has a pretty unique looking face. There's some face paint on there that looks pretty cool and definitely one of the better looking Mega Constructs faces. Usually with their figures they always look better if they're either an alien or they have a helmet. The human faces just never fare too well but I do have to say this one looks decent. You've also got these markings on the shoulder pads. And on the back, there's nothing much else going on. The flamethrower is pretty nice though. You've got that shark decal up on the front and on the other side as well. But other than that, it is just a flamethrower, but it's always nice to get these. Unfortunately, there is no flame piece included. And of course, you can't forget the flood infection form. It's made of this gummy rubber material. Same thing with the antenna that you just insert into this hole right here. The flood are grotesque, but at the same time, they do look pretty cool. And next up is Atriox himself. This is another first for me. I've never had an Atriox figure before, but this is a lot more exciting as this is the main antagonist from Halo Wars 2 and kind of in Halo Infinite. There's a bunch going on with the armor where you have the silver paint and also the different layers of the lighter gray and darker gray. He's got an amazing looking head sculpt with some awesome prints and the paint apps on the chest even continue on to the back. For the weapon, he has some sort of mace. Once again, it's something I'm kind of unfamiliar with, but judging by the rest, of the banished melee weapons, I would assume that those red blades on the ends are supposed to kind of be holographic or electric somehow. And at least in universe, they aren't just these solid blades. There's a close up look at his nameplate and just overall a really nice looking figure. I really enjoy this one. Next is the Spartan Mark VII from Halo Infinite. If you couldn't tell, this guy is wearing one of the Winter Contingency Christmas armor coatings. I believe it's called Peppermint Joy or something like that. And despite it being holiday colors that you're not really supposed to take seriously. I do really enjoy this color combination. I think it looks kind of cool. It's just a really unique look that we've never seen on a Spartan before. And there's all kinds of different colors going on in here. There's these darker shades of the green and the lighter shades as well. There's red, 
white, and the paint apps themselves are a bit more complex than what we usually see, offering a lot more detail on this figure. And even on the weapon, I just really, really enjoy this. Fortunately, the helmet print on mine doesn't look too bad. They definitely could have done a little bit better though. And I would also assume that he is using the visor color that is also from the winter contingency event. Unfortunately, on the back, there aren't as many paint apps, but it still looks uniform with the rest of the figure. And it's really awesome that we get a fully dark red torso piece underneath all that armor. And for the weapon, you've just got the Halo Infinite Assault Rifle with the same coating, and you do have this reticle piece on the end that can be removed. This is definitely one of the contenders for some of my favorite Spartan figures and Mega Constructs. It just looks so unique, but also really cool at the same time. And I love that we're getting more and more multiplayer Spartans from Halo Infinite. While that game is really disappointing, especially the Spartan customization, there are still some really cool looks that you you can get in that game and i'm glad they're making their way into action figure form and here he is next to the other halo infinite multiplayer spartan that we've gotten from the halo heroes line this is the spartan mark 7 from series 16 i believe and he's of course got the halo championship armor coating on which all players got for free which is why they made a figure of it because it's pretty accessible and i have to say they do look awesome next to each other and it is pretty difficult for me to pick a favorite i just love both of these figures so much but now we're getting into the really interesting stuff with the Sangheili Honor Guard from Halo 2. This is a figure I've been wanting in Mega Constructs for a long time. They've already made several versions of it. One of them actually came back in a previous series of Halo Heroes, but I never got it and it became very expensive. Luckily in Series 18, they decided to re-release it and it looks amazing. You've got these gold accents on the armor, continuing all the way down to the legs as well, and even the same details on the blades of the weapon. Weapon, and of course that signature cherry red. The helmet can be removed just exposing a normal unpainted elite head underneath. All in all this is a great looking figure and I'm very excited to finally have an honor guard in my collection. If you're deciding not to get all the figures in this wave which totally makes sense because not all of them are super interesting. I would definitely recommend the honor guard as one of the ones that you need to get. It's iconic. It's a little bit more rare and just once again looks really great. And finally I'm I'm sure what everyone has been waiting for it is the flood human combat form we've gotten a decent amount of flood figures and mega constructs in the past and we're about to get even more but this one is a bit more terrifying as it's actually a human that has been taken over consumed by the flood and turned into a zombie eternally malformed it's a really horrifying experience and while the flood can be kind of cool in a few ways you have to understand that at the end of the day they are one of the most dangerous and disgusting things in the Halo universe. This is all around a very unique figure, of course, modeled after the Halo 3 Marine, I believe. That's what the armor looks like underneath, at least what's left of it. Of course, you have the flood sludge just moving around the shoulder of the body, completely transformed this arm, where you have these massive two claws up at the front here that can be articulated, as well as a normal hand over here, which I think can hold some things. Yep, you can get it to hold the battle rifle if you want there are a few different paint colors going on here though it isn't just the tan sludge there's some darker shades in there just to differentiate it a bit of course you can see more of that on the head right there if it will focus i love the details of the armor being warped around just looks really disturbing and the other arm is partially transformed by the flood the one that is holding the battle rifle which is actually in a new color which is this kind of dark brown color that matches the rest of the flood goop and of course sprouting out of the chest is the iconic red tendrils which just like with the infection forms can be removed and then placed back inside possibly the most interesting part about this figure is the headpiece as you can tell it was once human there's only some white paint there with the eyes and with the teeth and as you can see it's just completely corrupted by the flood completely zombified there are a few remnants of the hair towards the back, and you can clearly tell that this thing is human no longer. Definitely one of the standout figures in this wave, and one of the ones that's definitely going to end up being more valuable and sought after. I've already seen this figure going for like 30 and 40 bucks uh, by itself on eBay, so definitely snag this one if you can. This figure is absolutely legendary, and I love it. And that was all the figures that come in Series 18 of Halo Heroes. This is, of course, the newest wave. While this is one of the best 
figure selections we've gotten in the Halo Heroes line, I would totally recommend just waiting for these to officially release so that you don't have to pay so much for them. But I would assume that when they are officially released, you could get them for cheaper for their normal retail prices. But this was a wave I wanted to jump on as I do thoroughly enjoy almost all the figures in this wave. It's really just Atriox and Kansano that I don't really care for as I'm just not too attached to those characters, but they are really cool figures themselves. And that about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any thoughts, don't forget to leave those in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.